Storyteller number one. A soup for the brain. He writes of a world where animals are not lame. They are intelligent. They talk, laugh, and cry like you and I. Just the same. You can meet a hairy hare zooming in a hurry, only to be outran by a patient tortoise trudging determinedly. A fox outfoxing the vain crow in a flattering twist, and so steals his piece of cheese. Stories with lives, lessons, and more. We learn from our animal friends who will never bore. From the closest sounding clue, can you guess who the storyteller is for you? Introducing Aesop, one of the best storytellers of all time. His timeless fables are enjoyed by children all around the world. Storyteller number two. He should be close to the gods and goddesses to write about them in Mount Olympus where they repose. There he finds Zeus with his bolts of thunder and his wife Hera in majestic wonder. Then he meets Athena, the goddess of wisdom and justice, and Aphrodite bringing love, a hug and a kiss. Poseidon is not in the vicinity, for he is busy calming the sea as the flying Hermes delivers Zeus's order to do it quickly. And don't forget the god of the underworld, Hades, with his wife Persephone listening to Ares, warmongering in their home so cozy. There are many more, he writes about, of gods and goddesses with heavenly clout, as they watch the mortals there is no doubt. From the closest sounding clue, can you guess who the storyteller is for you? Introducing Hesiod, a celebrated storyteller, his poem, Theogony, tells the story of gods and goddesses of Mount Olympus. Storyteller number three. He says not to browse around for a flawed part to pick, for no one is perfect. Even the gods have faults, like an angry Zeus hurling his thunderbolts. When painting lives, he advises that include all the good and the strifes. From each portrait, he assures you that nobility of character is there to shine out. For even the smallest act of kindness can tell a story of what a noble character is all about. From the closest sounding clue, can you guess who the storyteller is for you? Introducing Plutarch, a biographer, he tells the stories of the noble lives of great ancient Greeks and Romans.